there, okay, I'll just start retiring here. Just a sec. Okay, Mayor Ford to speak. Well, thank you very much. Today, I'm very, very pleased to move the staff recommendations on item CC 26.8. A report from the Deputy City Manager and Chief Financial Officer regarding the proposed sale of N-Wave Energy Corporation. In November of 2011, as we all know, City Council authorized City staff to pursue the sale of the City's interest in N-Wave. Well, N-Wave is a success story. Its future growth will require significant and I emphasize the word significant investments of new capital that Toronto simply does not have. As it turns out, the time was exactly right to go to the market. And we're here today with great news for the taxpayers of this great city. There was a lot a lot of interest in N-Wave, and a number of offers were made to purchase this company. In fact, the quality of these offers significantly exceeded our expectations. This re report recommends Council accept the best offer, which represents a significant, and we heard in camera, a huge profit for the Toronto taxpayers. I must emphasize this, folks. I must, must emphasize this. The proceeds of this sale will help fund our capital shortfall, including money urgently needed to pay for the new streetcars that were already ordered by the TTC. Every single dime must go to the streetcars. I know other councillors might have ideas of taking bits and pieces of putting it here and there. Folks, we have to pay for the streetcars. Madam Speaker, fellow councillors, this is a great deal for taxpayers. I strongly, strongly encourage you to vote in favour of it today and for it all, I emphasize all the money to go to the streetcar purchase. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, we do have a question. Uh, Councillor Mehevic, question to the Mayor. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, in 2003, Mr. Mayor, when you were then the City Councillor, uh, the issue of uh, going from, um, I think it was 20%, something like that, and putting in some money to, for, to make sure that we maintained our equity stake in the, in the company to 43%. Um, do you recall whether you voted in support of that? 2003, that was nine years ago. I cannot remember how I voted nine years ago. Your staff haven't advised you on how you voted? Nine years ago? I didn't, I didn't we probably have any of my staff. Councillor Mahavik, do you have a question on the item that we have before us? I do. Okay. I want to know. Well, I can't okay. remember, Councillor Mahavik. Nine years ago, 2003, no, I don't. Let, let me tell you this. In 2003, in 2003 we, had, uh, we had a certain equity share. It was going to go down because they needed some investments in the company. It was going to go down to, I think, 27%. And, and, Your question. and the question is, do you think that that was a wise investment now, in that we did go to 43%, given the yields that we are getting? I don't, I don't recall what we did nine years ago. I, don't even, I think that was under Mayor Lassen, correct? So we're talking two administrations ago. I, I'm, I'm, I can't remember. Hey, okay, Councilor Mahavik, right. do, you have a, do you have a question where we're talking today, 2012, in October? Why did you vote against it at that time? I, I can't. Councilor Mahavik, thank you. Please. Councilor Fletcher, question. Um, just to, to recap how much money was put in this year, uh, how much money was sent to the streetcar purchase out of our budgeting in the 2000 and Can I, you can't divulge what we paid for anyway, right now, can we? No, I'm talking about, this. I'm talking about from our budget, not what Well, we I, I know we owe about $700 million for that streetcar purchase that I did not support, but unfortunately, council went ahead, 
when the DTC went ahead and, and purchased those. We have to pay for them. When I was elected mayor, um, I had the responsibility of paying for them, and this is what we're doing now. I'm Unfortunately, I'm I have to clean up someone about, else's mess. I'm asking about this last in the last. I don't have the exact information in front of me. From our budget, do you know how much we paid out of our capital? I don't have budget. that information in front of me. You don't know how much of the seven hundred million we paid. Councillor Fletcher, he says he doesn't have that information in front I, of me. It's not. I don't know what that has to do with. Yeah. Can you ask a question on what we have before us, please? Yes, he's going to get back to me. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Shiner, question. <coughs> Mayor of the court, in 2003, we took $21.8 million from the water reserve account to maintain our 43% ownership in many ways. The issue you're talking about regarding streetcars and the debt finance, that comes from our rate-based services, sorry, from our tax-based services and from taxes. So we pay for our debt normally from that. In this case, $21.8 million came from everyone around the city that pays for water service. It's a rate base. Right? If we actually have a rate based service where people have paid for something, and we borrow the money from them with a the motion saying we'll pay it back, don't we owe the taxpayers to maintain our commitment to pay that back? Um, I think it's more important that we pay for something um, that we owe right now, which is the streetcars. Um, and that's obviously according to staff also, according to the budget chief, the professionals that deal with this uh, day in and day out. So I guess we're going to differ on this, uh, Councillor Shiner. I think it's more important to pay for the streetcars right now. So and much, I, that's... How I, much I think, do we owe, how much is the current bill today to pay out the streetcars? No, how much, not that we're going to pay, the commitment, but how much cash is needed today? We have about another $200 million probably. Um, to go approximately, and we have to we have to pay this off. Now, in the water, I could be wrong by a million here or there, but I think it's I think it's approximately two hundred million dollars we owe. I can't release this information to the public, but if we go ahead with this uh, sale and you support it, um, I think uh, we'll be in good shape with those streetcars. We also have a huge problem with basement flooding right across the city. You understand? Yeah, I agree with that. Yes. And people call you as they call us all the time, please fix the problem. Right. Would you be surprised to know that all we have left in our reserve account is about $18 million? Um, no, I'm not. No, we've rated our reserve accounts again. I never supported that, but um, some counselors believe that was the right way to go. I didn't, but I think that's the predicament we're in now, yes. So the question I have again is if we had $21.8 million in our budget to fix face and flood, and we borrow that to maintain our ownership in anyway. And we promise to pay it back. And we're really short there. This could, by putting the 21.8 million back, could help thousands of people across the city. And that's only a small portion of the revenue that we're getting from anyway. Doesn't it seem prudent to try and put that money back to help the thousands of people as we promised it? I think I'm gonna answer it the same way I answered your previous question. I, I think, you know, that, might be a legitimate argument. My um, response to that is the streetcar purchase has to be paid for. So my personal opinion may differ from yours. I think we, well, I don't think we have to pay for these streetcars. I'm not disagreeing with your argument, but it's what's more important. I think right now, using this money to pay for the streetcars is our priority. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Councillor McConnell. Uh, to speak. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. There was another questioner. Sorry. Uh, Councillor, the grand question to the mayor. Okay. Mr. Mayor, um, you know that uh, the water department, for lack of a better word. I can't hear you. Sorry, Mr. Budget. But you know that the water department, for lack of a better word, uh, used to be funded through the taxes of the city. It used to be all part of the city taxes, right? Yes. And just like any other department, it would get reserves put into it from the tax base. That's correct. And then the water department, you are aware, Mr. Mayor, changed from the taxes into a user fee along with the garbage. That's correct, yeah. So the whole structure of the water department changed 
a number of years ago, right? So when the end wave started and everything else, it was a whole different regime with respect to water, correct? No, it's, yeah, your statement's correct, absolutely. Okay. So in terms of... Councilor Perusa, please stop interfering. Okay. So in terms of prioritizing, prioritizing monies and funds, it would be your contention then that our first priority that has been discussed here at Council, that has been relayed over and over and over again, that we have to pay for the street park purchase that is unfunded, there is no monies from anywhere, that that has to be paid for first. We don't have anywhere else to get the money right. from. I don't know how else we're going to pay for it if we don't course, pay you would agree. this. And of course, you would agree that that's not our only priority. There are other priorities with respect to water and flooding. There's respect to the gardener falling. There's respect to Toronto community housing. There's all kinds of needs with, that the city requires and needs, but there is no money for that at this point. That's why we have to find more efficiencies. So, in terms of the whole scheme of things, it's not to discount that those other things are not needed or required. They're very important. It's in terms of the priority of writing the check to pay for the things right now okay. is the streetcars. Is that correct? That's what I said. I, some people might differ with that, but I think that's a priority and that's how I'm going to vote is to put all this money towards the streetcar purchase. And also, to be clear, when we do this, Indirectly, we save the city money because we're not paying interest costs with well, respect might, to. If we don't pay it, Mr. Board. Budget Chief, with the interest will, will cost us uh, millions of dollars. Right, and, but and I, that's a waste of taxpayers' money. So let's use that money right. to pay for our street cars, and I think we'll almost do that with uh, this. But sale. we also make money by taking the sale proceeds, putting it into the bank investing that until such time as we actually take receipt of these streetcars and start paying for them. We actually make money, make money on, on the interest on side. The interest that we, make, uh, we put in the bank. Thank you right. very much. Okay, thank, thank you. Councillor Matlow. Uh, Councillor Matlow, questions. Uh, thank you. Uh, to you, Madam Speaker, is, is there a deadline uh, for when we need to make the entire payments to the streetcars? I don't have that information. Is there a deadline? Um, there are progress payments over the next few years. I don't know if there's an actual hard deadline, a certain date, but I know interest <coughs> will start accumulating if we don't, and that's going to cost a lot of money, obviously, on, on a purchase of uh, that size. It's going to cost the taxpayers a lot of money if we don't pay it off. Is there any, is there any risk that we might even lose the streetcars altogether if we don't make payments by any Again, I don't have that information um, to it. Okay. We're going to have to, obviously, if we don't pay for it through this, we're going to have to borrow it. I, I don't believe in borrowing the money. But again, this, is, this goes back to something I inherited, and um, I have to deal with it. And I think this is the best way of dealing with it. Yeah, I guess what I'm, what I'm getting to is what what are the worst consequences that you that you can foresee or you understand that we're if, gonna, if we if we don't meet if we don't meet our requirements in the contract that we're going to have to borrow the money we're going to pay interest and it's going to cost the taxpayers a lot of money millions of dollars and i don't want to see that happen thank you thank you um councillor bond you had your name up there Councillor Mamalidi? Ah, uh, I'll wait for Vaughn. <laughs> Councillor Vaughn always wants to be the, say, the question. Take, do the last word. Councillor Vaughn. The question I have, the question I have uh, for the mayor is, is this. You've had meetings this summer with the Prime Minister. How much of a request did you put to the federal government to finance this? Well, it's obviously, uh, I don't discuss, I, I talk about uh, privately with the Prime Minister, I don't think it's uh, to tell you the truth. It's, it's really uh, no one's business when you have when you go to someone's cottage and you talk. Uh, I don't think you share. Uh, you have sent staff to Queens Park. You have sent staff to Queens Park for infrastructure money. Okay, okay, Councillor Bond, sit down. No, no, it's not relevant. No, it is not, Councillor Mahevic. I know where his question was going, Councillor Mamlidi. Question. I, I, I'm, I just want to make it clear that the, the 
money that you want to take that, that's made from this is towards streetcars. Yeah, we have to, or it's going to cost the taxpayers millions of dollars in interest if we don't. And I think this will almost cover the remaining balance of the streetcar purchase. It's my understanding that there may be some councillors that have traditionally supported the streetcars that may vote against that because they, they want the money to go somewhere else. Are you aware of that? I have heard rumors that some councillors are going to try to take some of this money and put it somewhere else. I'm not going to support that. I encourage councillors not to support that. I encourage councillors to put all this money towards a streetcar purchase. So you, you really heard this, the same thing. Councillor Ford, please. You really heard the same thing that I'm hearing, that councillors who stand up here on a regular basis and want money to go into streetcars and want more streetcar lines and infrastructure money for streetcars will be voting against this and asking the money to go somewhere else. I guess they don't want streetcars then. <laughs> well, you may not, oh, come on, I'm, you may not like the answer, but it's the answer. Councillor Thompson. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker, through you to the Mayor. Mayor, transit, it, transit is a priority for yourself, and as far as you're aware, most of the citizens in this city want better transit, is that correct? I, I think you can see with this administration and with your support, uh, we We've talked about transit um, at length, longer than any administration ever has, be it subways, LRTs, streetcars. Um, yes, it's, so it is important, absolutely. Right. And so the city has an asset uh, where it has worked with, in partnership with the private sector, universities, uh, private companies, um, and has grown this asset to a point now where it appears that we can actually extricate ourselves from the sale of that asset and realize a real big windfall, is that correct? I think this is the biggest windfall um, that we'll ever get on, on N-Wave right at this time. I think we're at our peak and I think we've heard in camera that it is, it's phenomenal how much. Uh, is that's part of what the Deputy City and Treasurer is, is saying, is that correct? Absolutely right, that's what right. staff said. It's the so best then, we've ever yeah. if, if I were a homeowner, and have to make a decision about an investment that I had made and made some money on that investment, and I could actually pay my mortgage down because I would reduce the cost and the impact to my household budget. This is somewhat similar to that. I realize it's larger numbers. So that you're actually being prudent and fiscally Sound. Is that what you're achieving? Trying that's, to achieve? that's an excellent analogy, yes. And that would be the prudent thing to do, just like you explained. Right, so Torontonians will benefit greatly because we're actually going to pay for transit that has been actually decided upon where there is no budget associated with that. Is that correct? I agree with you more. Or, or it will cost the taxpayers uh, millions of dollars in interest or we're going to have to borrow the money. Right. So this isn't a battle. It's just a matter of letting people understand what it is that we're trying to achieve. It all comes down to council. It's very straightforward if you ask me. Right. Now, I know that some councillors have said the resources came from water, a portion, 21.8 million, and they're suggesting that we should direct that back to water, and you're saying, no, there is a greater good, greater benefit, because of all the many different priorities that we have, let's make a decision and put this to transit, because that helps with respect to the economic viability and the success of that city. Is that correct? That's the approach? You're absolutely right. The $700 million purchase, I think, is more important than $21 million, and I think we have to take care of that $700 million purchase. And we have a structure in place, albeit not perfect, to address the issue around basement flooding, water, uh, and new pipes, and so on. Is that correct? You're absolutely right. We do have a plan, and it is working. It's a perfect no, but we are getting it done. So we realize some funds. We have a plan to address some of the shortfalls and the challenges that we have through water, even Toronto community housing. There's challenges associated with that. You're saying that a first priority is to address the issue of the debit that we have, the debt that we have that's outstanding based on the purchase, we have an opportunity to, to, to pay for it with this windfall that we realize with the sale of Android. Is that what you're saying? That was your last essential. question. It's absolutely essential. Thank you. Just want to remind members of council when you're questioning at three minutes for questions. Uh, Councillor Cho. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, 
So we need the eight hundred million dollars to buy uh, to replace the uh, old streetcars. Right. And uh, what percentage of uh, uh, subs do we getting from province and federal? I, I just I just want to clarify. Um, I think you're off by about a hundred million pounds or so. I think about a seven hundred million dollar purchase um, for streetcars. Again, we went out and bought streetcars without any money. Um, it's I don't think that was a, the right move, and uh, but I inherited this mess, and I have to clean it up, and I think we are cleaning it up now. Okay, Mr. Mayor, uh, I just got appointed as a new TTC commissioner, and the last meeting. Sorry, I, I, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, just a second. Councillor Fletcher. Like yeah. Councillor Fletcher, please. That that really is unnecessary. Okay, no, no. And please, Councillor Shiner, Davis, Bragadakis, please. No, I know you didn't. If I just can ask everyone to keep it down, please. Please. Okay, thank you. Councillor Cho. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Now, the TTC uh, CEO said that we get the least subsidy from city when we compare to other public transit in North America. A lot of federal government they are supporting the public transit. So, as a mayor, you think it's a good idea that we at least make an attempt to approach the federal government, and they chip in. Most definitely. Just to I, try I, to do all these things within ourselves, we overburden our taxpayers. Most the people think, all around they come and use our public transit, mayor. I I couldn't agree with you more. I I, I really hope the federal and provincial government come to the table with more money. I, I'll be the first in uh, line to take it. I couldn't agree with you more. Thank you. Okay, please. Councilor Fletcher, I can hear you from here. Okay, if I can ask, please, for some quiet. The media, Councilor Vaughn, I can hear you from up down here. Councillor Fletcher, please. But I'm on the floor. Sorry. We're on the floor for questions. <coughs> please try to respect each other. Councillor McConnell, question to the mayor. Yes. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Mr. Mayor, um, the uh, do you, could you tell Council what the schedule is um, for the TTC streetcar arrivals? I, I don't have that information in front of me. Okay. Would it surprise you that first ones won't be uh, really delivered? There's, some, there's one delivered right now. Is that correct? And they're checking it out. But the first ones are, are not scheduled to be delivered until 2014. I, you agree with that? I, yeah, I know it's approximately that. We still have to pay the $700 million. Yes, we do. And uh, the last ones are delivered in 2020. Would you confirm that that's I probably can, correct? I can't confirm that. No, I just know they are. They're coming in approximately late 13, early 14. Yes. Yes, they're coming in 14, and they're coming actually over a six year period of time. Okay. Uh, so we actually um, uh, presumably are not trying to prepay for them, are we? No, we're paying what we went out and, and purchased without any money. And well, that's why now we have to, I believe in paying our debts. We owe $700 million. Uh, I don't we're believe getting, we, we owe a penny balance. until they we, arrive, do you? Uh, we don't owe anything until they, they come. We buy them as they come. If you don't, if you don't pay your debts, um, you, you're you going to get charged interest. You're going to have to borrow the money. Right. And so it's like, you know what? Right. When do you, when you buy your car? You buy a car and then the car gets delivered, correct? Oh, or do you wait till the car comes? I don't and drive, then you... so I don't buy. A car. Oh, okay. Then I'm <laughs> shoes. I buy I think, shoes. I think you but buy something and then it gets delivered to you, correct? Usually. Uh, I I I'd be interested heard, for you to look I've never at. Heard like Come on, can you please let's keep it on you know. topic here? We're talking streetcars. Anyways, I, I am talking streetcars. Okay. I bought my coach from Leon's. No, I'm a, referring a to the mayor. A year later. Councillor Mamaliti. So my question continues to be, Madam Speaker. Yes. Um, uh, what is the schedule for the rep uh, or for the purchase of these? I don't believe they're they're right away. So I just would ask the mayor to look into that. Thank you very much. 
Okay. Well, Councillor McConnell to speak. Um, thank you very much. Um, thank you. Um, I wanted to move, first of all, that Council direct $50 million from the proceeds of the sale of N-Wave and that it be placed in the Toronto Community Housing Corporate Major Capital Account. Um, you've heard uh, when I was asking the question of the Mayor, there is no question that uh, this city is going to be on the hook uh, for TTC uh, uh, capital calls um, over a considerable period of time, no question. But the notion that we can pay that out of our pocket each year is ludicrous. It's a bit like saying, I have this great house, uh, I need to buy a new house because we now have two more children and I, I, I'm going to pay for it with cash. Um, that is not possible and it is not possible to do that in the TTC build out. I think that one of the things that is true is that we pay as much as, as we can as we go and that we have a schedule of payments and repayments that make some sense. And I absolutely agree that it is essential that we put some money into the TTC and, uh, and, the, uh, and the vehicle replacement. And you might notice actually this morning uh, that even the, ferry, uh, uh, the ferries are needing replacement at $8 million a piece. So we do have uh, a deficit of our infrastructure. And I also recognize that we are about to expand that. But I want to just come back to my motion and what I think is a really burning issue which we have not addressed and never have addressed is this notion of receiving housing that was inadequate, badly maintained and falling apart. And every single one of us knows that in our wards there are uh, uh, housing projects owned by TCHC, probably they came from the provincial portfolio, which had no infrastructure put into them and maintenance uh, for many, many years before they transferred uh, a gift that keeps on giving. Uh, but meanwhile, we actually have people, we have children who are growing up in those living conditions. And I think it is time for council, when we get a windfall, to really look at where our priorities are going to be. I'm not suggesting that we not invest in TTC. Whether we sell N-Wave or not sell N-Wave, we would have to do that at any rate. And we need to get a capital budget plan uh, that deals with those, uh, uh, with those street cars. To suggest that somehow this is a nightmare because who would have ever thought about uh, getting street cars it's a bit like the ferries. You know, at some point, just like your cars, they're no good anymore. And they cost more to fix than they do uh, to move people. And in addition to that, you might remember that these cars that are coming, and I believe there's one uh, now at the TDC to be looked at, move a lot more people. And therefore, uh, we are able to have less cars or uh, we don't have to increase the number of cars in order to move the large number of people that are growing up uh, or, and buying condos and, and, and intensification all along King, Queen, uh, Dundas, um, and um, along Carleton. And so for me, um, I think that this windfall is an opportunity for us to do something very important. We did it a while ago when we sold the polls.